What's it like leaving the U.S. for the first time and traveling internationally in 2024? I'm interviewing my brother, who's never left the States until now. Check it out. Hey everybody, this is Ronnie from Finding My Tribe and I have found one member of the tribe. This is my brother, Steven. Um, this video is gonna be all about his transition, his trip from the US. This is the first time that he left the US. I'm gonna give him the floor so he can um, introduce yourself and then we'll get started. All right. Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Stephen Jones. Um, I am from the United States, uh, Richmond, Virginia, uh, born in Montclair, New Jersey. Um, been, I guess, about two weeks here in Pattaya, uh, Thailand. And um, I guess we're going to talk about my experience going from the United States to Thailand because, like my sister said, this is my first time outside of the States. Okay, so I am extremely happy and excited that he is finally out of the confines of the U.S. If you've made the decision to leave the U.S., but you feel overwhelmed and don't know where to start, download the Escape the States Beginner's Guide. This will help you take your first steps towards the journey to a better life. Click the link in the description and welcome to the tribe. Now back to the video. So um, let's get started with before you traveled, before you went there. Um, what were your thoughts about how you would feel about the trip? I was nervous because I was, I heard a lot about the TSA going through customs, everything like that. I was concerned about the weather, bringing the right stuff. I bought way too much stuff mm -hmm. um, because I didn't know I bought like three pairs of jeans, not knowing that it's going to be like 90 degrees here all the time. Mm -hmm. I bought like a long sleeve shirt just in case of something I don't know so okay. um, yeah so I, so I over prepared mm -hmm. but it was better than being not prepared so okay. to answer your question I was I was nervous so I prepared accordingly all right so how was your trip from the States to Thailand it was great. I had a friend of mine from college. He helped me a great deal. His name is Roderick Moore. Hey, Rod, if you see this. So, yeah, so you just, you were talking about your uh, plane trip over here. Um, how did people treat you? How were you treated um, at the airport, on the plane? How were you treated as a black man? The... It's interesting because I wasn't treated as a black man, just as a regular person. Um, the fact that I was black didn't really factor in because there were a bunch of people of various ethnic shades. Um, a lot of people who were obviously from India, mm -hmm. a lot of people who were of some kind of Caucasian descent um, and various Asian, the, the same people from Asia, Central Asia, Asia uh, Southeastern Asia. So, um, and there were not a lot of, you know, black people, but there were different darker skinned people, maybe not from the US, but from other places. So I don't think it really factored in at all. Everyone was just kind of treated me just like anyone else. Okay. So once you arrived here, mm -hmm. how did you feel? What was your experience? Like, tell me about your first, I don't know, 24 hours. Okay. Woo, okay. Uh -huh. Coming to um, Thailand, 
Yeah. The first thing that hits you is the heat. Ugh. Cause I came, I came from JFK Airport in New York and it's February. So for those who don't know, it's, you know, basically winter there. They had a big snowstorm over there and, you know, I was dressed for that. I have, you know, my hoodie, I had, you know, jeans, sneakers, and, you know, everything like that. And it was cold. I didn't have a coat or anything because I knew I would be going to Thailand, but, you know, I was pretty layered. So I, the plane went from JFK airport to Hong Kong. Hong Kong was, you didn't really go outside, so I really don't know what the weather was, but I was inside for the most part in the airport. Then from Hong Kong to Thailand. So, and the first thing that, you know, welcomes you is the heat and not like a dry heat, it's a, it's a muggy, moist heat. And you definitely want to start sweating. <laughs> So um, my first 24 hours, I'm just like, man, it's hot. <laughs> it, is, it is very hot. But um, other than that, we luckily we had a um, a taxi come take us to our hotel. I mean, it's basically a hostel. So um, and for those who don't know, it's just pretty much a bed, and bathroom, just the essentials that you need. No extravagance here. But it was everything that we needed. So um, we got our room. There was an issue with booking. Booking.com did, did not do us very well. But um, what, did, what happened? Okay, well, when you go through booking.com and order your room, they reserve the room, mm -hmm. but they do not take your money right. for the room. Right. You have to pay okay. the, the people there. Mm -hmm. So, if we didn't already have some currency to pay the hotel, mm -hmm. then I don't know. They, but here's the thing, the place that we went to was really nice. Mm -hmm. So even if we didn't have the money, they would let us stay the night and then we just pay them the next day. Okay, so yes, yeah, so you're talking about the reserve now, pay later, which is my favorite way to reserve a room right because you don't know what you're really walking into mm -hmm. you might discover that this place is a dump and you know it's like a terrible feeling when you spit your money you can't get it back and you walk into a place that's literally a freaking dump right so for me i like to reserve walk in and make sure i want to stay there and then pay but yeah so that's kind of my favorite method and i can understand that now yeah but from the US, when you, you know, pay mm -hmm. in the US, they take your money yeah. and you pay mm -hmm. and that's it. Right. So uh, that was, this is, that was a new, new thing for us here, especially um, not really, they didn't really designate that that was the, the case. They never said like, hey, make sure you pay them when you get there, we're just reserving. They never said that. Okay. All right, so what about your first meal here? Mm -hmm. What did you eat? And um, as far as the food, do you can you taste the difference? Do you notice the difference? And what's that difference? Yes. <laughs> he made it. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay. Because I can always edit. So let's just. I'm going to have to edit this. This is just. I'm about to just take my phone. Because this is just turning into too much. No, yeah, what's wrong? Is it, is it an... I've just never had these issues before. I was just able to just get on and not have no issues. Can we just use the FaceTime thing? No, because I have Logitech. I'm, this is going on YouTube. Why do you think I have Logitech for? Logitech don't seem to be working. Well, it does. 